He lifts me up and makes me stronger because he tells me the truth. You really think I can do that? His smile shines across the dark surroundings, reassuring me. No. What? Uh, what? What? Whoa! What's going on? <laughs>
You know... Finn curls his fist while his entire body trembles, probably thinks to the cold winds. It's the right thing to do. He puts on a brave smile, but I can see the doubt written on his face. It's what's best. Um... My feet push against the water, sending small ripples across. I... I'm going to miss you. I get closer to him as the gusts of wind swirl around us. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Me too. The crashing waves disappear one by one and the wind hushes as if they knew what was coming next didn't need any distractions. Are you sure you need to go? No. Then why? Why even think about it? Because, um... He stutters, taking a long breath between each of his words. He's trying to carefully choose what to say, but it doesn't look like he even knows where to start. Because... If you can't think of a reason, then it's not worth it. There is a reason. One that I took a lot of time to consider. And in that time, he never thought to ask me how I felt about it? Um, I don't know what's going on and all, but, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I know the mod says that it's, um, you know, containing spoilers from base DDLC. So, from what I can heard, I'm pretty sure MC chose the, um, will be childhood friends or best friends forever and ever, stuff like that, whatever. So, I'm pretty sure this might be it, because why would you ever choose that, uh, Choose that uh, that option, you monster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your choice, not mine. I I'm just saying. But uh, if you're going for the other girls like Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica, then that's okay. More po power to you because it's your choice. So I, I don't blame you. I'm just saying, really, because r really, wh why would you choose that anyway? It's it's bad. <laughs> you can't just friend zone her like that, you know. Uh. A silence comes over us. There's this feeling of... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I, was going, I was going for my... I was... <laughs> uh, my tongue stopped working. What I was going to say is that I was going to go for my Sayori voice on this one. Okay, now I can remember. Finn, remember. Um, Sayori voice. A silence comes over us. There's this feeling of desperation overtaking me. It's clouding the way, I think. I know he doesn't want to do this. I know it. I know he wants to stay with me. Things... Things change, Sayori. We can't always be together. We can't always lean on each other. One day, we're gonna have to grow up, and... Today's that day. Um... The glimmers of sunlight seem to darken, leaving the water's surface flat and lifeless. Uh, Sayori? Yeah? This is for the best. I... I know I can make you feel. Isn't it better to just... let go of me? My body freezes, not really sure how to move, or, how to move next. I'm causing you so much pain every day. It's not that I don't want to be with you, but... You told me how you can be... How do I say this? Depressed? He, he puckers his lips, making sure not to look at me straight in the eye. My nails dig into my palms, burrowing deeper and deeper. At first, I feel a sting of pain, but it's drowned out by the creaking sound of my teeth grinding against each other. I don't like feeling this way. Oh no, I'm pretty sure she might be feeling angst right now. Why? I should be happy for him. If he can move on and be happy, then that's... That's what I want. I want him to be happy. If my feelings burden him, then leaving me by the wayside is the only way to go. It's the only sensible thing. I slap my cheeks, trying to shock me back into happiness. But for some reason, I can get my thoughts to light up. I bring you a lot of pain, so the easiest thing to do is to leave. Get to, you know, 
move on. He's not wrong. My mind rushes, taking me on an involuntary trip down the rocky rapids of my memories. The surging waters lined with stony echoes of my past, their colors brightly sh glowing against the flow of time. Each bump, each violent bump down the rapids shows a little crack in my happy memories, a ray of darkness beaming through each jagged stone. There's something wrong, I said, something annoying I did. Even back then, when I felt it felt like I was okay, I was still a burden to him. It was putting on weight. Aw, don't cry. A weight that drowned me. A, a weight that drowned him. And there he is, trying to swim back up, and I'm, I'm trying to pull him down with me. The tide shift, and the wind pushes out one more gust, making me lose my balance. I trip forward, about to head face first into the lifeless water. At the last second, I feel a soft but firm grip on my arms, hands with tender fingers, wrapping around me and filling me with warmth. They catch me, stopping my fall into the dark waters below. Hey, careful. Oh no, the dorks are even closer. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I know this might, I, I know this mod may have some, I don't know, a little bit of drama and ang angst in it, but come on, at least there might be some, some happy and cute moments in here. Uh, sorry. Man, you're, you are way too clumsy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's one of her defining features. I don't mind her being clumsy because, um, that's what Sayori is, really. Good thing you had me here to catch you. Um. Uh, a drop of sorrow falls into the deep black below. The teardrop waters a seedling of doubt within me. Oh no, don't cry. Yeah, don't cry. Oh, come on. And... Yes, I really am. I, I kind of like that how the uh, how her tears are a lot more dynamic and the uh, expressful here. Please. He drags me up to his eye level with his with his hands still supporting my limp body. My feet trail across the water, barely wrinkling it, but some of the waters, <laughs> but some of the ripples help the water catch some light again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm doing this. You know, I love you, right? What? Okay, um, made a choice, and then you say that you love her. Well, let's see how this goes. You, you do? Of course I do. You're my sunshine, Sayori. No amount of rain clouds could ever change that. But if you can forgive my crappy attempt at an extended metaphor here, something needs to happen for the forecast to change. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a few giggles leave my loose lips. What is it? Oh. <laughs> this smile, I... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, but come on, look at this smile here. <laughs> it's just so... How can I say this? Adorable? Yeah. She's adorable. <laughs> I can't help it, but come on. I gotta say this has to be one of my favorite Sayori smiles from a mod so far. You sound like Monica. Finn. <laughs> Finn lets out a hearty laugh. I used one big word and suddenly I... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I didn't notice it was, it was Finn talking. Okay, or MC rather. <laughs> I used one big word and, I, and suddenly I sound like Monica. Jeez, what does have? Why does what does a guy have to do to get some credit around here? It's not bad if you sound like her. She's amazing and smart and super cool. That's debatable. And if I wanted to sound like someone, I'd rather sound like you. Really? Yeah. You're all caring and energetic and stupid. Wow. Wow! Wow! What? You don't need to try to sound like me to sound stupid. You sound stupid all by yourself. Well, um, 
to that because really I'm an idiot. So whoop de doo. <laughs> oh, that that um that embarrassing smile. <laughs> But I sound stupider when I'm with you. <laughs> and isn't that the dream? I only have one brain cell by the small chair. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> um, is MZ okay in the membrane there? I, I can't tell. Finn. Sayori. Uh. uh again, the silent. <laughs> Again, the silence peeks its ugly head, leaving our thoughts at the forefront of our minds. Think of, think of it this way, Sayori. Oh, oh, we got some music now. That's that's cool. I'll leave, and you can stop thinking about me. You can stop thinking about how I ignore you on that one day, or how I didn't talk to you on the other day. You can just focus on you. Beautiful, heartfelt, and singular you. And then one day, maybe, we'll come back. And then when we meet again, we can start over and this time, we'll know that our love is true. Oh? I'm confused. Because after all that time, after the hurt is healed, and if we truly love each other, that means I didn't love you to help with my hurt. Exactly. That's... You're right. Finally, I feel a smile coming on. A smile that lights me up again. This, this'll be hard, but it'll be worth it. I look, him I look him in the eyes and see his soft stare. His eyes are true and honest, and they would never, ever lie to me. However, while I wasn't paying attention, the seedling of doubt sprouted within me. Suddenly, there was only one question on my mind. But if you're gone, who'll catch me if I fall? Uh, well, me. Well, not him, but me, I guess. His face beams brighter than ever. It'll be you. What? You'll catch yourself when you fall. The first time, you'll trip and scrape your heart, but the next, you'll catch yourself just fine. His eyes stare into mine. That same soft and... <laughs> that same soft, true and honest stare. Okay, uh, I think that's a little bit close there, buddy. I, uh, I don't know what I'm feeling about this right now. It makes me feel warm. Well, it makes sense, considering that I am uh, voicing Sayori, and this is Sayori's POV, and, well, you get what I mean. It makes me feel safe. He lifts me up and makes me stronger, because he tells me the truth. You really think I can do that? His smile shines across the dark surroundings, reassuring me. Oh! Oh, wow, okay, now the sunset is truly going to set up and going dark. No. What? Uh, what? What? Whoa! What's going on? Am I falling? He lets go of me and a sweeping dizziness, dizziness overcomes me as I fall into the dark waters below. It was shallow just a second ago, but now I am suddenly falling deeper into it. A never-ending darkness and I keep falling and falling. No ground in sight. Wow. All around me, I see, I start seeing small stars twinkling along the black sea. Their lights are so dim, but maybe if I swim closer, they'll get brighter. My hand reaches for a nearby star, but I can't. I can't reach it. I keep trying to push myself closer, but the light just keeps going farther and farther. Please, no. I... I can't see. I can't see. My body starts cracking and breaking under the overwhelming pres pressure of the happiness around me. And finally, it gives up. I fall through the empty darkness and slowly lose myself in it. Waves of dreams, echoes of my broken bliss, memories of misery. 
some comfort in being alone at least. Huh. My eyes close and I'm fi finally ready to let it go. What, uh, what is going on here? Oh, you don't get out that easy. His one soft hand roughly grabs a hold of my collar and yanks me out of the darkness. Open your eyes, Sayori. You need to see this. Finn, I... What, too tired? You had enough sleep for today. Now do you need to face the truth. His crawling fingers start getting familiar with my face and pry my eyes open, showing me the world around me. What? What's happening, Finn? Look, Sayori. Huh? Look. What? I said look. At what? What do you want me to look at? Ugh, you're no good. He, th he throws me away like he's getting rid of one of our old toys we used to play with. Wow, MC, or this is definite this is definitely not me, but wow. What is wrong with you? And oh. Where are we like floating onto the water now? Like what? Do we have like uh Jeebus powers or something? And plus, it it looks so it looks so beautiful and majestic. Also, the colors here look very vibrant too. I'm 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 getting some uh, some vaporwave vibes here. But uh, that aside, wow, this is this is really impressive. I fall in the shallow. Uh, something something. I'm pretty sure that might be a swear word or something. I don't know. And my outstretched hands hit the cloudy floor. My wrist flaring up with searing pain. I'm pretty sure it might be the shallow, well, shallow waters around us, I think. Oh, it hurts. Finn, it hurts. I think I broke my wrist. Wow. Way to go there, MC. Not me. He looks down on me, burning a hole into me with his glaring eyes. At least you're finally awake. Bruh. Bruh. Finn reaches into his pocket, pulling out a matchbox with only a single match rattling inside. He pulls out a slightly bent matchstick and lights it. Why are you lighting a match? We're going to need all the light we can get. Now stand. I try my hardest to get back on my feet, but I lose my balance and immediately fall to the ground. Sayori... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't. Everything hurts. There's a slight bit of pity in his eyes, a peek at his soft truth which gives me a little bit of hope. He looks away, grips my arm tightly and pulls me up. I feel a gl flaring pain in, me, in my arm where his hand is wrapped. Finn, you're... you're hurting me. S sorry. I'm sorry, I, I didn't. I'll let go now. No. Uh, of course. Useless as always. Wow! Yeesh! Can't even stand our own two feet. Finn, I'm sorry. Look at you. Ugly, heartless, and lonely you. You made my life a living hell. You put so much on me. I... I didn't mean to. My bones rattle, overwhelmed by the freezing air around me. But you did. You... He looks away from me, his face scrunched up in pain. He made me take responsibility for you. He told me you were depressed and then you told me. He told me that you had feelings for me? What were you trying to do? Trap me? Trap me into saying yes, all because I didn't want to lose my best friend? And I say yes, okay? You say yes. I say that I love you. And you had the gall to start telling me how it didn't make you happy? How it wasn't enough? What more do you want from me? His grip on my arms tightens even more as he starts to flail me around as if I'm an oversized prop. I... I was hurting, Finn. I didn't know what to do. 
So you went back to the one thing you knew you knew how to do: manipulating people to get what you want. You act like you just want everyone to be happy, but glob forbid we do something you don't like. You might cry and whine about how you want us all to be friends and how we're hurting your feelings. Well, it's not all about you, okay? It's not about what you want and how you feel. We all have our own problems, Sayori. Every word he says wraps tightly around my throat, suffocating me. I try to speak, but nothing comes out. He looks down to the... Clouds? Wait, are we above the clouds or... Wait a minute. If... If this isn't the ocean and... Wait, are we ab above the atmosphere or something? I mean, we can breathe and all, but... I don't know, I don't know how the air works and all, but still... If, if we're on, like, floating in the clouds and such... Now... I'd say that's uh, that's definitely um, melancholy and beautiful and all, but at the at the uh, at the context of the situation right now, I don't know what is. What? Where are we, Finn? I'm so confused. Me too, Sayori. Me too. You know what, Sayori? You're just you are just about the most selfish and pitiful person I've ever met. I thought I thought I could cr I could trust you. Look, look around you. The sun is setting. What? The light is going out, Sayori. It's not because of me. It's not because of Natsuki. It's not because of Yuri. And it's not because of Monica. It's because of you. You did this. Did what? I can't. I don't. Finn flicks the hand that's holding the match and its fire suddenly glow grows wilder and stronger than before, singeing me from afar. He lets go of my arm and I start falling again. Before I make any distance, Finn grabs me by my hand and his fingers dig holes into my forehead. I scream in pain as he turns my head to face the inverted sun. Oh, inverted sun. I guess maybe we might be upside down, I guess, but... Wow, I don't know if I'm tripping or something, but uh, so far so good. This is this is actually really good stuff. Look at it, Sayori. Look. But I can't respond to him. The only thing that comes out of me are small whimpers. You useless, thoughtless, brainless waste of space. Look at it. He drops the fiery match, setting the ground ablaze. Whoa! Why is everything on fire? His fingers dig into my skull and pry my eyes open. My tears try to fall, but his hands will let him. The sun is setting, Sayori. The setting. It, it's setting. The light's going out and it's your fault. It's all your fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Not to me, at least. Because in the end, you're the one doing this to yourself. You're making everything dark. It's not like you're important enough to drag the rest of us down with you. In the end, it's down to you. You're so worthless that it won't ever be a, about anything about you. The world will slowly go dark around you and it's not because you didn't have a choice. It's because you make it go dark, Sayori. You make it go dark. You chose this. Do you understand, Sayori? I... Do you understand? You trashy, selfish, worthless, incomplete excuse for a human being. Wow! Wow! I would never say any of those to us to to the cinnamon bun or heck any of the girls either and also my <laughs> my hat just uh, undo itself dang stay back on do you understand I do you understand do you understand I too I understand good Wow, and looks like uh, 
looks like the uh, the life and spark in his eyes just suddenly disappear. Whoa. What's going on? Hello? Uh... What's going on? Finn picks up the dimly lit match and holds up to me with his hand gently placed on my shoulder. It's so dark. There's still a little bit of light, a bit of light, Sayori. Uh, why? I don't deserve it. I'm awful. I'm selfish. I'm worthless. I don't deserve any light. Then, put it out, Sayori. He hold. He holds the match up closer to me, and its dim light gives off a small warmth. Put it out, and it'll. Put it out and let it all finally go dark. Um, I don't know what to say about this, really. Uh, okay, first of all, uh, what can I say this? Um, the first dream, or was this all a dream or something? I don't know, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. Uh, or, well, I'm just gonna go through a phase, so. First phase, everything seems okay, and possibly MC chose the, um, We'll be best friends forever and ever, or whatever. And second, um, I guess uh, when all hell breaks loose, I suppose, and here we are. Uh, this this mod is truly interesting, and I'm loving it so far. What? <laughs> There's an option to put it out, and uh, when and and also if I move it here, it also lights up. That's nice. That's a uh, that's some quality detail right there. Um, you don't have to do it, but I, I appreciate it. I lift my shivering fingers up to the fiery end of the match. And with a pinch, I choke out the flame. Okay. Um, is there, is there, is there, uh, blah, 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 blah. is there still more? What the? Oh wait, is is this is this MC's voice now or something? I don't know. Oh my glob, Sayori. What do I, Sayori? I'll cut you down. Just get me something sharp. Oh no. Let me guess. This is this is this is the part where. Oh. Okay, now everything else connects. Oh, okay, now now I understand. Stay with me, okay. Stay with me. Wow. Space. Mod director fit. Cream and cream thick. Fit. Storm blaze. Flasium. Flasium. Uh, so many people working on this. Happy Halloween! Never let the sun set. The various artists. And a constellation of Sayori. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Well, I already did the Halloween special in, uh, in, in Blue Skies, so, uh, well, I guess this is another Halloween special or something, but, eh, I'm not even in my costume, but who knows? Or who cares? I don't know anymore. And, wow. Speaking of the, uh,. Well, uh, that was a very interesting mod, and, uh, and a good one at least. Aside from the, uh, from the funny randomness from, uh, from the previous two mods I played, and, uh, and especially the, uh, the pain and angst of, uh, of A Date with Sayori, aka the Sayori prologue, I gotta say, this one is really, really good, and, uh, uh, ignoring, uh, Natsuki and Chill, and I gently open the door, I gotta say, this has gotta be one of my favorite mods from uh, from various artists, and uh, the work and the visuals and the dialogue and everything is just. I I guess I should I could say it hits me where I live. Like, um, <laughs> um, I may be a, a literary connoisseur or something like that because I'm uh, I'm dabbled into uh, into literature and reading, but this. This is actually really, really great stuff, and uh, various artists, if you're watching this, uh, you really outdid yourselves this time, and uh, 
yeah, uh, I understand why some other people don't really play or see this mod, but I highly recommend checking this out if you um if you don't know where to start, I highly recommend checking out space because this mod this mod is wow <laughs> uh, the little bit of uh, of drama, pain, angst, and uh, uh should I say melancholy yeah I, I could say that it's a uh, it's a little abstract and uh um what's the word i'm looking for um i, I can't say it uh <laughs> it, it, it just flew out of my head sorry but i gotta say this is some really really great stuff and in an artistic way <laughs> get it because various artists wink wink <laughs> if i were playing this mod first then before or well in other words if i found this mod first then not to key and chill and i gently open the door then this has got to be one of my favorites and uh another thing that the um that the mod, te mod team is known for aside from those two funny ran those are uh, two funny funny mods so uh yeah um you guys really should give this mod some recognition and such and uh of course uh not just for the mod itself but also for the dev team so uh yeah this is really really great sorry for the long outro and such like that and sorry for rambling because really um the various artists really never fails to impress me with the uh with the uh, amount of quality aside from the sprites and of course the dialogue and such and the themes and all this is really 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 great so um i guess that's about it for this mod and i'm looking forward to see more of their of more of their works especially the after sayori mod which i am looking forward to play wink wink so uh take all the time you need to work on it and i cannot wait to play it when it's released and of course i'll be going straight through that like supersonic speed <laughs> so anywho guys that's it for space uh if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this, and then click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching, Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.